Hello and welcome. In this video, we are discussing about SAP ABAB dictionary. So, you use the ABAB dictionary to create and manage data definitions, metadata. So, the ABAB dictionary permits a central description of all the data used in the system without redundancies. New or modified information is automatically provided for all the system components. And this ensures data integrity, data consistency and data security. The ABAB dictionary supports the definition of user defined types, data elements, structures and table types. And you can create the corresponding objects, tables or views in the underlying relational database using these data definitions. The ABAB dictionary describes the logical structure of the objects used in the application development and shows how they are mapped to the underlying relational database in tables or views. The ABAB dictionary also provides standard functions for editing fields on the screen. For example, for assigning input help to a screen field. Integration. So the ABAB dictionary is completely integrated in the ABAB workbench. The SAP system works interpretively permitting the ABAB dictionary to be actively integrated in the development environment. Instead of the original objects, the interpreters see only internal representation of these objects. And these internal representation are adjusted automatically when the system finds that changes have been made in the ABAB dictionary. And this ensures that the screen and the ABAB interpreters, input help, database interface and development tools always access current data. So development environment, ABAB tools, data modeler, screen painter, ABAB dictionary, ABAB interpreter, Dialog control interfaces, screen interpreter, runtime environment of the application. So, when you work on development projects, the objects of the ABAP dictionary can be changed any number of times before being activated and made available to the operative components of the system. And objects can have both an active and an inactive version in the ABAB dictionary at the same time. So inactive ABAB dictionary objects have no effect on the runtime, ABAB system, ABAB processor, database interface. And this permits greater changes to several objects without impairing the executability of the system. And the objects can be activated together only when they all have been changed. Features. So the most important object types in the ABAB dictionary are 1. Tables. Tables are defined in the ABAB dictionary independently of the database and from this table definition follows the creation of a table with the same structure in the underlying database. Views. Views are logical views of more than one table and the structure of the view is defined in the ABAB dictionary. And a view of the database can then be created from this structure. Types. The structure of a type can be defined globally in ABAP programs and changes to a type automatically take effect in all the programs using the type. Lock objects. So these objects are used to synchronize access to the same data by more than one user. And function modules that can be used in application programs are generated from the definition of a log object in the ABAP dictionary. Domains. Different fields have the same technical type can be combined in domains. And a domain defines the value range of all table fields and structure components that refer to this domain. The ABAP dictionary also contains the information displayed with the F1 and F4 help for a field in an input template. So to create documentation about a field you have to create documentation for a data element that describes the meaning of the contents of the corresponding table field and the list of possible input values that appear for the input to help is created by a foreign key or a searcher. 
so this was a brief discussion on sap and pap and we'll be discussing more on sap and pap in the upcoming videos thanks for watching this video bye for now